so today in this video we will learn how to turn on a LED on uh, a FPGA board uh, the FPGA I'm using is the Basis 3 from Digilent so let's open Vivado and let's create a project so here you can specify the name of the project so we'll call it the LED on here you can choose the directory so I'll use this directory remember to create project subdirectory next so you can click on boards in this case I'm using the basis 3 otherwise you can choose another board So now Vivado is creating a project. So let's change the target language from Verilog to VHDL. Okay. So uh, let's create our top level. So you add sources, add or create design sources. Next create file we'll call it top okay finish so now Vivado asks uh, to specify the ports and we will specify only the LED port the direction will be out okay so in this way Vivado creates this VHD file where there is only one port LED specified as output so in this project the only thing we need to do is to write LED and we, we, we will uh, assign the value 1 to LED so control S to save the file so now we need to run the synthesis which is the process of converting VHDL language in RTL language so we run the synthesis launch runs on localhost uh, number of, jo of jobs 8 this is the number of processors uh, used by the computer to, to run the synthesis You can check the synthesis status in design runs. So the synthesis finished, so we need to open synthesize design. And now what we need to do is to say that uh, the signal, the port LED, uh, we need to connect this port to an actual LED on the FPGA. So we need to go to layout, IO planning. And here we have all the ports. This is the LED port. So the package pin, we can read it on the FPGA, which is L1. So we write L1. The standard is uh, LVCMOS 33. Control S to save. So now uh, Vivado is creating a constraint file. We can name it however we want and we need to put it local to project okay so now if we go to the sources we can see that Vivado has created a, con a constraint with these two lines set property package pin l1 get ports led and set property io standard lvcmos 33 get ports led 
So now we can generate the bitstream. Yes. And of course, Vivado will relaunch the synthesis and we can close the design, the synthesized design. In design runs, we can check the status of the synthesis and of the implementation. This will take a couple of minutes because it's a really simple project. So the synthesis has completed, as you can see, and now the implementation is starting. And the implementation is the process of converting RTL design uh, and to put it onto the FPGA. Okay, so the implementation has, is over, so we can either open the implemented design, but right now we need to open the hardware manager. So now we can turn on our evaluation board. And so um, we can open target, auto connect. In this way, uh, Vivad is connecting to the, the FPGA. And now we can program the device with our bitstream, top.bit. We can click on program. And as you see, the LED has turned on, the LED with the port L1. So thank you guys, and we will see in the next video. Of course, uh, remember to like the video, share the video with your friends, and follow me on Facebook and on Instagram.